Love is directed by Takashi Mike, and this is one of his first movies. Oh, wait, it is his first movie that I actually saw in theaters. So I've reviewed a lot of his movies, Over the Dead Body, As the Gods Will. I think he did Verses as well. He has a lot of movies out there. And when I was like going through this uh, cinema next to me, I was like, oh, what's First Love? And then I watched the trailer. I was like, oh, my God, it's actually playing. I got to watch it. So what's it about? Well, it's about a boxer who realizes he has terminal cancer and he doesn't know what to do. And so he's basically based depressed throughout this whole movie. But there's a lot of subplots because kind of like the very end, they all team up. So you have the boxer, the drug addict kind of prostitute. You have the drug dealers. You have the Chinese and you have the Yakuza's. And at the very end, oh, do I say corrupt cop as well? And the Yakuza person who's actually teamed up with the cop. And you also have a Yakuza who's actually part of the Chinese gang as well. So there's a lot of, you know, double crossing, corrupt cops, everything happening all at once. So what I like about this movie, if you like crazy fun movies, this is the one to go to. I just liked in this movie, there's a female behind me who is basically like, this movie's stupid. I don't get it. It's like, you don't go off the trailer or the poster with one of these movies. You'll get the director and you'll get his filmography and see what type of movies he does. He does these crazy off-the-wall violent movies. And if you don't want that, then you're not going to like this movie. But this movie is fun. It had a lot of good humor to it. A lot of his twists and turns out were funny. Uh, but I just had a fun time with this movie. You could find some faults. It was a little slow paced, like uh, Over the Dead Body or Over the Dead Body. Is that what it's called? Uh, over Your Dead Body. Yeah, it's kind of slow like that one at the very end. It teams up or it doesn't team up. It speeds up drastically to get to the point of all this killing and the person taking meth, putting his uh, gunshot wound and getting high off of it. There's just crazy scenarios in this movie that and I enjoyed it throughout the movie. Like I said, the pacing, though, can be a little better. The action was awesome. The comedy was great. The romance was pretty funny. I would say, you know, the romance is pretty funny and it works. The main character is the prostitute and why she's a prostitute. Basically, her dad sold her. Which, that's the weird part. Her character is very weird and put me in an interesting scenario. One, her backstory of her dad abusing her. And when she's on meth, if she's having withdrawal, she sees her dad. And that subplot is a little weird. I understand why they had to put it in there so they would meet. But they kept putting him in this movie, this hallucination. And it was really weird. I mean, it was kind of funny, but it was also just like, what are we doing here? And then her character as a self. Uh, she was a little weak to me. And it was just kind of like, you know, just what she would do. I don't know. Maybe she was in a bad situation, but her character just seemed a little weak. And it's like, okay, come on. Be strong. Be strong. And she finally gets a little stronger because she meets someone. But you're like, okay, come on. You got this. But no. First Love, it's a fun movie. Great movie. I enjoyed it. Well, it's, not, it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. Uh, I wanted more violence, more gore for his scenario because his movies, they could go gory. And I wish this one went a little more gory. Like that someone gained their head uh, over a tire. You know, ran over. I was hoping it would be a little more gore there. Uh, but I understand why you want to tone this one down just a little bit. So first of all, we'll receive a 4 out of 5 blue futons, which equals that 80%. So see the critics news scores gave this film. So you have critics a 97% with 8, 78 of them, and users an 89% with 27. Here's critic consensus. First of all, it's blend of violence, comedy, and romance. Might seem desperate. But for director Takashi Mike, it's just another wildly entertaining entry in a filmography full of them. So what has he actually directed? Um, I gotta see his things. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, let's see here. First Love, Boy of Immorals, great movie. Uh, Yakuza Apocalypse, I own that on DVD. I haven't watched. It. I heard it's really weird. Uh, Terraformers, I do have that as well. Arrow release. Over Your Dead Body, seen it, As the God Will, seen it, Shield of Straw, have not, uh, Hira, Corey, have seen that one, 13 Assassins, have it, great movie, uh, Zebra Man, no, Hostel, oh, he's actually in the movie, ah, uh, One Missed Call, oh, I have seen that one, Dead or Alive, I do have that, actually, Arrowhead release, Itchy the Killer, great movie, uh, Dead or Alive again. Audition, great movie. 
But he has a lot more that are just not uh, reviewed. You know, they're just there, but not actually reviewed. But no, it's a great time at the movies. I enjoyed it first time seen in theaters. Like I said, his movies, if it has his name on it, I will watch it. But do you agree with the 97, 89, or 80? Chase Young at the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things is Futon Tokyo, you Blue Futonians. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I think with this one, I realized I just talked really, 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 really fast. I don't know why I did with this one. But you know what? First love. Have I ever been in love?